On this occasion of the commemoration of the United Nations Human Rights 75 Initiative, I wish to take this opportunity to reaffirm Guyana's commitment and dedication to upholding the principles of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and more specifically, freedom, equality, and justice for all. We in Guyana do not take these words lightly. While we meet here at this forum, the world is challenged in so many ways. Climate change, decline in democracy, and human rights in many parts of the world. Threats to national territorial integrity, threats to peace and security, growing disparities and inequalities and internal conflicts in others. This gathering of global leaders must demonstrate our collective action to protect democracy and human rights, to preserve peace and security, and to ensure that all people, especially the poor and most vulnerable groups, are able to enjoy their human rights and equitable access to better living conditions and opportunities. Regardless of religion, class, ethnicity, nationality, geographic location, gender, age, and abilities. This we should pledge collectively and act in unison. As a small developing nation, Guyana with 85% forest coverage and one of the few carbon sinks of the world pledges the following. As a new non-permanent member of the United Nations Security Council, to protect international rule of law and the principles of multilateralism. To continue to protect and use our low carbon development trajectory as its contribution to climate change and the protection of planet Earth. To continue to incrementally increase our budgetary support for education, health, housing and water, social protection, and the development of our indigenous communities to ensure no one is left behind, including 15% 15 of the sale of our carbon credits that goes directly to indigenous communities. To continue to build institutional capacity of our constitutional oversight rights bodies, in particular, the electoral management body and the judiciary. To continue to build the institutional capacity of the national mechanism for reporting and follow-up on Guyana's human rights treaty obligations. I therefore implore us all to uphold international humanitarian law and the rule of law principles to which we have pledged, and respect the rights of our people so that they can all truly experience freedom, equality, and justice. To achieve this, we as leaders must implement the right policies in our own nations, and our actions must never threaten the prosperity, stability, and development of our own people, nor the people of other nations near and far. Instead, we must ensure that they are protected and their well-being remains our first and foremost priority. I call on all of us to be true to ourselves and never waver in our duty to stand firm against the oppression of people across this world. We must raise our collective voices against injustices and inequalities being meted out to our fellow humankind, who are also our brothers and sisters, wherever they may be. It is the only way that we can demonstrate our genuine commitment to the freedom equality, and justice for our people. It is the only way that we can address the challenges and opportunities that we all face as global citizens of this world in which we all reside.